Uh, there was a, a birthday celebration today in Brooklyn, and as Kevin Rosen reports, the celebration brought traffic to a standstill. It is a birthday celebration unlike any other. The spiritual leader of more than a million Lubavitch Hasidic Jews turns 90 today. But Rabbi Menachem Schneerson will not attend. This was last summer when he met with Mayor Dinkins to try to quell disturbances between blacks and Hasidics in Crown Heights. Ninety vans called mitzvah tanks rolled into Manhattan from Brooklyn to spread the Orthodox Jewish teaching. At one point, stopping at Grand Army Plaza to form the number 90 with the van. Schneerson is a direct descendant of a founder of the Hasidim. He and his wife escaped France before the Nazi invasion and arrived in Crown Heights in 1941. He has never left, and he has never set foot in Israel. While the celebration has been somber, there is hope, because of the rabbi's condition, that this is the year he will lead his followers to Israel, where he will then reveal himself as the Messiah. In Crown Heights, Kevin Rosen, Channel 9 News. Ultra-Orthodox Jews from the Lubavitch sect drove 90 cameras from Crown Heights, Brooklyn, to Midtown Manhattan. The parade of the so-called mitzvah tanks marked the 90th birthday of Rabbi Menachem Schneerson, the Lubavitcher Rebbe whose followers believe he is the Messiah. Messiah. To the spiritual leader of thousands of Hasidic Jews, a man followers say could be the Messiah. Rebbe Menachem Schneerson, leader of the Lubavitcher sect, turned 90. Thousands of followers celebrating his birthday at the sect's Brooklyn headquarters, then driving a caravan of campers called mitzvah tanks throughout the city, 90 in all each for one year of the Rebbe's life. Jews believe the Messiah is yet to come. Here and in Israel lately, there are some who say the time is very near. Here's ABC's Dean Reynolds. The word is spreading. Billboards proclaim it in Jerusalem by day and in Tel Aviv by night. In Israel, the message is just about everywhere. It is simple and startling. Prepare for the arrival of the Messiah. The message comes from Brooklyn, New York the headquarters of this man, the Lubavitcher rabbi Menachem Schneerson, leader of the largest ultra-Orthodox sect in all of Judaism. The expectation of a Messiah is a central tenet of Judaism. First say recent events match Jewish prophecy of the coming of the Messiah, that a nation threatening Israel will be humbled. They point to the collapse of the Soviet Union, to the subsequent mass emigration of Jews from there, and to the futility of Saddam Hussein's missile attacks on Israel. What's more, they say the rabbi predicted these things. Dean Reynolds, ABC News, Tel Aviv. Here on the streets of Crown Heights, you sense anticipation in the air, and it comes with a clear message. The Messiah is near. From around the world have come here to mark his birthday. I wouldn't be anywhere else. No, no, nothing could convince me to be anywhere else. With that anticipation comes sadness. Sadness that the Rebbe won't take part in any public celebration. That includes the parade of 90 mitzvah vans that'll roll through Brooklyn and Manhattan Tuesday spreading his message. Also missed the Sunday ritual where thousands of people cram his home as he hands out dollar bills for charity. Passing through everyone from the ordinary to more well-known, like singer Bob Dylan. All to get a few seconds. Spiritual leader of a million Lubavitcher Jews is being honored with a grand celebration. Today is Rebbe Menachem Sherson's 90th birthday. Correspondent Chris Borgen is live in Brooklyn where the streets were crowded with revers a minute ago. We'll be parading into Manhattan right now. Chris. Jim, quite a few still remain here in Brooklyn, here on Eastern Parkway, hoping to get sight of the Rebbe if he comes to the window. Catch sight, and if they do, well, they'll sing out in Hebrew, in Yiddish, in Russian, in German, in whatever language you can think of. And they'll all come out simply to say, hey, happy birthday. Yeah. It could only be fitting and proper that a birthday celebration, especially a 90th birthday, should be celebrated by the children, hundreds of children, all ages and sizes, but especially the very young and the very small. So the celebration goes on today, and what happened to here earlier, the throngs of people standing outside and lining the sidewalk, 90 mobile homes called mitzvah tanks, and they will be taking off throughout the city the celebration of... Menachem Schneerson. Happy birthday.
fly from Eastern Park. Uh, well, Park. as part of the 90th celebration for the Grand Rabbi Menachem Schneerson, 90 of these mitzvah tanks, as they are called, have taken up positions at various locations throughout the city. It's all part of an effort to reach out and promote a return to religion by Jews who have not actively practiced their faith. They came from all over the world to the Lubavitch headquarters in Brooklyn to celebrate and to pay tribute to the Lubavitcher Rebbe Rabbi Menachem Schneerson. The Grand Rabbi is the leader of more than a million Hasidic Jews, an ultra-Orthodox branch of Judaism. He is a direct descendant of a founder of Hasidim, and many of his followers feel he is actually the Messiah because of his leadership. And he has said that a birthday is like a personal new year, a time to be better today than yesterday, and a chance to be even better tomorrow. To achieve a better tomorrow, mobile units known as mitzvah vans were sent throughout the city. They paraded through Brooklyn and Manhattan, causing a few traffic jams along the way to spread the Lubavitcher message. People here say this is the best present they can give to the Rebbe. The mitzvah tanks will be out until sunset. <laughs> Today, Yud Aleph Nisan, the 11th day of the month of Nisan, World Jewry celebrates the 90th birthday of Rabbi Menachem M. Schneerson, the Lubavitcher Rebbe Shlita. In recognition of the Rebbe's unprecedented worldwide leadership, 90 mitzvah tanks have been dispersed throughout the metropolitan New York area, each mitzvah tank symbolizing one of these 90 years. Join in this universal tribute and mark this historic milestone in Jewish leadership by strengthening your commitment to Judaism today. Men, step up and put on tefillin. Jewish mothers and daughters, receive your free Shabbat and Jewish festival candles. We also have available hand-baked shmurah matzah for your Passover Seder table, including a special Passover guide. Abad Lubavitch wishes you a happy and kosher Passover holiday. celebration for his birthday he stands in front of 770 and he waves to the to the mitzvah tanks when they leave on their way to manhattan unfortunately that is not going to happen today then a motorcade of 90 vans called mitzvah tanks carrying followers of the rabbi who want to carry his message of a religious charitable life to other jews left from manhattan down eastern parkway crossing the manhattan bridge the caravan halted briefly so fervent believers could dance to honor the rabbi's 91st year, they sang from the 91st Psalm, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Aboard van number eight, Schneerson's followers spoke with passion, likening him to the Messiah. What better birthday present could we give him than to make people do good deeds and tell people and ask people to be kinder to each other, and maybe this way the whole world will get a little bit better, the whole world will be a more peaceful place to live in, and this can definitely hasten the coming of Mashiach. Thank you. The coming of the Messiah. The coming of Messiah. 